वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ आर्म प्रोसेसर वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट डेवलपमेंट हिस्ट्री ऑफ आर्म प्रोसेसर माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स दैट डिजाइनिंग ऑफ आर्म प्रोसेसर दैट वॉज इनिशिएटेड बाई आर्कन कंप्यूटर्स एंड लेटर दैट कंपनी हैव रीनेम्ड विथ आर्म ए आर एम आर्म मीन्स एडवांस रिस्क मशीन्स सो हियर the architecture which is there with arm processor that is there based on risk architecture right my dear students here there are few basic things that you should know arm company does not make different applications arm company makes cpu core so here with integrated chip you will be observing there is cpu so that cpu core that is designed by arm and arm is providing this cpu core to many companies so those companies were using cpu of arm and based on their need they were been designing their applications right so that cpu core which is there with arm that is what upgraded with respect to time how that is been upgraded let us try to understand that with respect to different instruction sets as well as different versions so here my dear students if you observe their development then initially they were been using 180 nanometer technology and with respect to time they have upgraded their technology and right now in 2022 they are using 5 nanometer technology but i have shown up to 2015 only right so how they have upgraded with respect to technology they they have upgraded this technology explains how size of fabrication is there right so inside chip there will be transistors and with respect to technology you can say size of transistors that is getting smaller for fabrication here my dear students when we talk about initial arm processor then that was arm 7 and with arm 7 processor instruction set was arm v4 right and in arm 7 processor there were two types of instructions one were regarding arm state instructions and second were regarding thumb state instructions right so arm v4 instruction set is having two categories of instructions normal arm state instructions that is having size of 32 bits and thumb state instructions is having size of 16 bits you will be observing that this thumb state instructions those were been using for lower category of applications right and arm state instructions that is having size of 32 bits that we use with high end applications you will be observing with earlier black and white display nokia's mobile was having that arm 7 processor right after that they have upgraded to arm 9 in arm 9 instruction set was arm v5 in that previous instruction sets were there but they have added few more features in instruction sets here they were been having jazel with jazel arm can execute java instructions in hardware right and one more instruction sets that they have provided that was the regarding vfpv2 that was having advanced instructions which were not there with previous model of arm 7 right after that they have upgraded to arm 9 with arm 9 instruction set was arm v6 with arm v6 previous instructions were there but they have added simd trust zone and thumb 2 in simd single instruction multiple data instructions were there so here with single instruction multiple data architecture was there with simd in trust zone they have added security features so here security with hardware enforced isolation built in cpu was there so hardware based security was provided with trust zone and thumb 2 instruction set was there with arm v6 instruction set so in arm 9 with thumb 2 we can have intermixed instructions of 16 bits and 32 bits with thumb instruction set we just have 16 bits of instructions but with thumb 2 instruction set we can have intermixed programming of 16 bits 32 bits and 8 bits of data execution 
right after that they have upgraded their arm processor to cortex in that they were been having instruction set that was there with arm v7 with arm v7 they have added neon and virtualization in neon you will be observing they have added instructions based on graphics so gaming experience that can be improved over here as well as many features with respect to graphics was added with neon here virtualization that was added with cortex series of arm here with arm v7 in virtualization we can run multiple os in same system right so here you will be observing with arm architecture in cortex series you will be having arm v7 instruction set that was supporting high end graphics as well as multiple os that we can install with given processor right and after that they have came up with advanced cortex series in that they have provided arm v8 instruction set in that previous all features were there as well as they have added scalar floating point architecture as well as you will be observing there is advanced simd instruction set in advanced simd instruction set previous instruction set was there but few more advanced feature that they have added as well as this arm v8 that is having backward compatibility so previous versions compatibility that is also there with this high end cortex series in which we have arm v8 instruction set right so here my dear students if you observe there is upgradation of processor right arm 7 arm 9 then you will be observing cortex is there right and even in cortex there is some advancement there is increase in system on chip complexity as well as operating system complexity that is also increased here my dear students along with that increase in complexity in system of chip as well as operating system you will be observing user have better choice of software and hardware and they can experience many more features that is there with user right so here my dear students various companies they were been using that core of arm right and by using core of arm nowadays you will be observing many computers are there many desktops are there many tablets are there right so those companies were been using core of arm to design their applications it is not only about mobile laptop desktop right there are many other applications which is there with arm in which automobile application is there as well as there is biomedical applications as well as you will be observing that in embedded system even arm is playing very essential role so my dear students with respect to time arm have upgraded their technology in terms of fabrication as well as with respect to upgradation of chip they have provided many features in terms of instruction sets so that user can use many features and by using those features they can upgrade their applications so in upcoming videos there are many things that i would like to discuss with you like how arm have evolved and how those features are enabled for user and by using that how we can make our applications thank you so much for watching this video